what's up guys I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be uh, comparing these two pretty similar Marvel sets so this is the Hulkbuster smash up and this is the War Machine Buster uh, so I have five categories for them I have minifigures uh, functions posability durability and value um, most of this will be uh, some of these will have some facts, but then, um, when I, like, score them, that'll be bias. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this. And, yeah, let's start off with the minifigure section. So, uh, first of all, um, we have two figures that are, that are the same, which are the Outriders. Um, and then we're left with, uh, three more, so you have the same number. And... Um, the, out of the two villain figures, so there's Proxima Midnight, and this, like, ad, Outrider General is what I call him. Um, I think Proxima Midnight is just cooler, because she's a, um, named character. Um, it's always cooler to have them, in my opinion. And then, uh, uh, as for the heroes, um, I like how these have their own designs like Bruce Banner is plain but you know he, he still has has his own design well um these figures have the um like a team suit and I just prefer having um different suits so I would, I'm gonna give um uh the Hulkbuster um the point for the best figures so now I'll give the number one and we'll look at I should look up posability first. So with the Hulkbuster set, um, you have pretty good posability. You can get it into pretty cool poses. You have a bunch of ball joints around this, and then a ratcheted joint here. Um, if you want to see full reviews, I have them for both of these sets on my channel. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to get something in there as well. Um, okay, there we go, um, and then for the War Machine Buster, uh, you have the same leg design pretty much, except the feet are a bit different, um, and then, uh, the same range of motion, and then you got ball joints here, but the wrist is where this kind of doesn't do the best job. Uh, it only goes like this. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to give uh, another point to the Hulkbuster. Now let's get into functions. And for the Hulkbuster, um, you have this swinging action there, but most of it is coming from this side build. So you've got a cannon, and you put an infinity stone there, and you can knock, knock it down like that with the fist, um, and then for the War Machine Buster, also forgot to show how this opens up, this opens up pretty nicely, I really like how that opens up, um, but, uh, yeah, it's functions, it has this six shooter, and it has two missiles here, uh, and then you can also put the sub shooters, on the wrist, which you can also attach that to the war machine suit. Um, and I just think it's nice that most of the functionality from this set comes from the, um, the main thing that, uh, you'd be getting from the set, which is the war machine buster. Um, so yeah, I would, I want to give that to the war machine buster. And then, Next is durability, and this is one where they come pretty close together. They both have this problem where these parts just like come off pretty easily, like a little too easily. The, the feet aren't the most secure things, but I think the War Machine Buster does a better job of keeping it in there, um, just like with its surrounding parts. Uh, and then this kind of, um, 
the shoulder pads fall off sometimes. And, but these, you see this? Um, I didn't push it out. It just um, the axles push themselves out to push that back in. And honestly, I think that's another point for the uh, war machine buster, especially because these parts sometimes fall off too. I mean, it's not, it's not, this is not a weak set. Neither of them are weak. But I just think this is, uh, stays together a bit, um, um, more often. And I find myself, um, repairing this Hulkbuster a bit more often. Um, and then, here's the tiebreaker. Value. Um, so of course they have the same number of minifigures. And actually, I think this is more expensive. I think this is forty dollars, while this is thirty dollars. Um, and um, to me, the winner is pretty obvious. It's a uh, it's gonna be the Hulkbuster, and this is why. Um, first of all, it's an iconic um, mech, like it's. Iron Man's mech and War Machine Buster didn't appear in Endgame, even though it's labeled as an Endgame set. And it um, didn't even appear in the comics, as far as I'm aware. It is a nice concept, and I'm glad that War Machine got his own mech. I think that's cool. But um, I think the Iron Man one is a bit more recognizable. And then on top of that, you also get a side build. And it's pretty good side build, I have to say. And you also get an Infinity Stone. So, um, yeah. Overall, I'm gonna have to give... I'm gonna have to say the Hulkbuster is better. Although, you could tell me what you think in the comment section below. Um, but the War Machine Buster is not bad, uh, bad set at all. Like, um, it is pretty cool, like I said. That War Machine gets his own uh, vehicle. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see see you guys next time. Uh, peace out.